This animated effect we're about taking a look at is practically applicable to just about any website elements, be it containers, a text, or buttons. For this demonstration, we're going to be applying this effect to the pricing tables call to action button. So getting started, you'd first want to head to the URL gradient-animator.com. The link to this you can find in the description and credit to the developer, Ian Forrest. Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. All right, let's tighten this gradient effect since it's also reflect here. And let's move on to pick the colors we would like represented in the animated gradient. So we could either use this box to choose a color or add in color hex codes down here. Now, after adding your preferred colors, let's select this to take a preview. And this is pretty much how it's going to display wherever I apply this code. Now, what's left is to adjust the gradient angle, the scroll angle, and lastly, make adjustment to its speed. And once I'm satisfied with the preview, I just need to copy this entire line of code, head back to Elementor or whichever page reader I intend using this on. And one quick side note for beginners, the steps we're about to take is also applicable if you don't have the pro version of Elementor. So instead of using the custom CSS tab in Elementor, you might want to use the additional CSS option under the customizer settings for inserting the code we just copied. Now the next thing we want to do is to make the element we wish to add the animated gradient effect to transparent. So I'm just gonna select this button, head on to style, and for its color, I'm going to make this transparent. Now let's move on to assign a CSS class to this button. So I'm just gonna head on to advanced. And this is where we'll get to do that. So I'm just gonna make this button hyphen gradient. And lastly, let's move on to adding our CSS code to this button. So I'm just gonna scroll down, open up the custom CSS class, and all I need to do is paste that code in here. Now let's take a proper look at this. So at this point, we need to specify the CSS class we want this code to be applied to. And currently we have this set to CSS selector. So I'm just gonna change this to the CSS class we specified earlier, which is the button gradient. And that's it. You can always head back to the CSS generator to make adjustment to the look of the animated gradient if you don't intend tempering with this line of code. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.